So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. This is the exact makeup look I was wearing in my January favorites video. I posted that video a couple days ago and I got so many requests to do a makeup tutorial on the look I was wearing. So of course I had to do it for you guys. I am using the e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette on my eyes. It's a drugstore palette, extremely affordable and really, really beautiful. You could totally use this look for Valentine's Day. I think it's perfect because it's really soft and romantic. The only thing bold is the lip. If you wanted to make it a little bit more feminine. No, Porter is not playing with that toy again. No, he's not. Give it to me. Like I was saying, if you wanted to make it a little bit more feminine, you can go in with like a pinky lip, something a little bit more rosy, but I love how this brown lip pairs with the eyes. I think it's a really pretty contrast. I was going to include like a second lip option in this video, something a little bit more toned down and soft, but you know what? I just, I just kept it this way. I'm just going to do a separate tutorial specifically for Valentine's Day that's going to be a little bit softer and a little bit more fresh and simple. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you create this makeup look, tag me on Twitter, tag me on Instagram. I would love to see. And if you want to see how to get this look and then just keep watching okay so for this tutorial I'm gonna kind of start out with all my base products first so I'm gonna apply my Becca first light priming filter as my primer slash moisturizer very hydrating and then I went in with my Pericone MD no foundation foundation serum I love this but as you can see it is a little bit too dark for me it just comes in one shade which totally sucks that's so weird but I do make it work with some concealer and I end up bronzing my neck later on. But I'm just applying this to my entire face. I love the finish. It's very natural with light coverage. But I love how it looks. You can build it up to medium. Then I'm going to take my concealer. This is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. I'm going in sections because this concealer does dry pretty fast. So I'm going to do one eye first and then I'm going to go and do the other eye. I really love this concealer. It has full coverage and I just, I love it. I love it so much. It's very affordable too. I purchased mine on eBay, I mean on Amazon, since I'm pretty sure we can't get this concealer in the States. I get mine on Amazon. So I'm just blending that in and I'm applying it to the center of my face as well to highlight that area so it looks all nice and even. I'm gonna set everywhere I put my concealer with the RCMA No Color Powder. And then to set the rest of my makeup, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus pressed powder in the shade Warm Light, and I'm gonna use that to set my foundation down. Okay, so now that I have my base products down, I'm gonna jump into my eye makeup. I'm gonna take this e.l.f. Mad for Matte 2 palette, and I'm gonna take the first shade in the palette, and I'm gonna use this to kind of set underneath my brow bone. For me personally, it's not light enough to be a brow bone highlight, but it'll do. And then I'm going to take the second shade in the palette. It's like a really pretty pinky brown. And I'm going to use a big fluffy brush and I'm going to buff this into my crease. I'm going to apply a lot of this color. I am going back and forth with this shade and building it up slowly. But I want to make sure that this is everywhere. I love this shade and I want the majority of my eyelid to have this color. Then on a smaller crease brush, one that's a little bit more precise and pointed, I'm gonna take that other shade in the palette. This one is a little bit warmer, not so pink, it's a little bit more peachy. And I'm gonna use this on the outer corners of my eyes and in my crease as well. Here I'm just showing you the difference in brushes. I'm using this shade with a more pointed, more precise brush, just to make sure that it goes directly into the crease and it's not really diffused everywhere. I want this color focused in the crease. Now I'm gonna tape, tape. Now I'm going to take this really pretty chocolatey brown color and on a small crease brush I'm going to buff this onto the outer corners and dragging it into my crease just a little bit. I want a little bit of depth to this look so that's why I'm adding a dark brown just to give a little bit of smokiness to it. And now I'm just going to do the exact same process all over again. I'm going to take my crease shade, my outer corner shade and then that chocolate all over again. Literally doing the exact same steps with the exact same shades. I'm 
I'm gonna take that first shade in the palette, that bone color, and I'm gonna apply this a little bit on the inner corners of my lids and I'm gonna retouch my brow bone and I'm also gonna use that on my inner corners as well. And I was a little bit frustrated here because my eyeliner got a little bit too messy on my other eyes, you can see. Um, I mean, it is a messy eyeliner look to begin with. That's how it turned out the last time as well. But I got a little bit too thick this time on the other eye. I took the Inglot Gel Liner in the shade 89 and I used that as my eyeliner. It's a really pretty brown, but it has a little bit of purple to it. I love the combination of the warm shadows with this eyeliner. I took the black from the e.l.f. palette and I'm just using this to smudge really, really close to my waterline just to give a deeper effect. Now I'm gonna take the first crease shade we used, it's like that pinky brown, and on a pencil brush, I'm gonna smudge that on my lower lash line. Really, really smoky underneath there. I love a really smoked out lower lash line. I like to bring the color a little bit lower, a little bit more smudged. So I took that other crease shade and I'm just going over it. And then I took the chocolatey color and I'm putting this on the outer corners so that it matches my lid. I'm gonna quickly put on some mascara. I'm gonna put on my Benefit Roller Lash. I'm gonna put it on my top and my bottom lashes. And then I'm gonna go in with some falsies. These are the same falsies I was wearing in my favorites video. They're really pretty, they fan out at the end, so it gets really long towards the end and I think it gives you like a cool little effect. So I'm just gonna pop these products on right now and I will be right back to finish my face. So as you can see, the falsies give such a beautiful touch to this makeup. It kind of hides the smudgy eyeliner and it looks so pretty. I'm someone who rarely wears falsies, but I love how it looks with this eye makeup. Anyway, so I'm bronzing my face slash contouring. I'm using the Cover FX Suntan Bronzer and I love it so much. It makes my skin look nice and tan. I'm obsessed with it. For blush, I'm going in with my Physicians Formula Butter Blush in the shade Plum Rose. This is a very light shade of blush, so I do have to build up the pigmentation. I have to go in over and over and over again. But when I do build up the color, I love how it looks. It's just so natural. I love this blush once I really pack it on. For highlight, I'm going in with my Girl Lactic Luminous Face Veil in the shade See Through. It's a very intense metallic highlight, and I think it looks really pretty. I'm just highlighting all over the place. And then for my lips, I'm taking the Colored Rain Liquid Lipstick in the shade Suede. It's such a cool, unique brown. I love how it looks with this eye makeup. I love the combination so much. And then my camera cut off and it didn't record, but I sprayed some Milani Make It Last setting spray. But yeah, my camera had turned off and I didn't notice. But yeah, that completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, okay.